This pen was found at the scene of Miss Brett's uh, of Miss Miss <laughs> Brett's death. Miss Brett's death. <laughs> I never set foot in the hut, nor spoke with the Englishwoman. I was only there as an observer. Uh, oh, the present the pen. That's obviously a lie. It's his pen, yeah. It 100%. Yeah, that's why it is his pen. Because writing uh, many memos is RM. Yep. Present that shit. Get him out of here. Many memos, many memos, son. Until now, I've had a firm belief. Imagine being him and realizing that this girl that you could frame has the exact same fucking initials as you and just being like, wow, I just got so lucky. <laughs> this is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I hit the murderer jackpot. <laughs> that newspapers are in the business of uncovering and publishing the truth. You're spot on there. The press doesn't lie, which is why I proudly wear the emblem of the Show You News on my arm. It's just so funny to see the phrase, the press doesn't lie, said earnestly. Yeah, in this day and age, it's kind of wild, huh? In a way, that's more many memoism. Sadly, though. <laughs> Fake news is real. <laughs> it seems the journalist who wrote, who write for those papers don't always share the same passion for the truth. What are you suggesting with those recriminatory words, counsel? That's a good word there, Ouchie. Oh. Many Memosan, do you recognize this fountain pen? Uh, no, I only this use pen. pencils, as you can see. <laughs> Ignore the ink on my hand. This pen was found at the scene of Miss Brett's uh, of Miss Miss Brett's death. Miss Brett's death. <laughs> that just reminds me of the scene from Bruce Almighty. Where it was like that was the breast. Be that Brett. Thank you. Yes, so good. In fact, the murdered victim was gripping it in her hand as she died. Not her breasts. The pen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? If you look at the barrel of the pen, you'll notice that its owner's initials are engraved there. R.M. George R.R. R. Martin. It's just the second half of his initials. <laughs> I swear, the dragons are coming. <laughs> it was it was the dragons. The dragons <laughs> killed uh, Giselle Brett. I mean, Brett. <laughs> Now wait, can we get Giselle Brett to have a nudie scene? I think that would really add to the tension. Very good. Yes, All thank right, you for will, bringing... This story will be out in 15 to 38 years. After my death. <laughs> After my death. <laughs> yes, thank you for bringing that up, Council. The initials of the accused, Ray Membami. Don't forget, I wrote Elden Ring, so I'm pretty cool. <laughs> Is it a coincidence, I wonder, that your that your initials are also R M? No. So it's not a coincidence. I mean, <laughs> yes. Got him. <laughs> Writen many memo, R M. That's that's horse dung. Can't you see? Over the central tenets of many memoism <laughs> is being a pencil user. Oh, he literally Have a large ink stain on uh -huh. your hand. Also, you don't lick the tip of a lead pen. You lick the uh, or pencil. You lick uh, the tip of a uh, pen. Uh, uh, that's uh, really funny. Uh, uh, I, did, I just uh, uh, realized that that's what he's doing. That's funny. Uh, 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 <laughs> Wait, go this. back. I, I didn't read that last one. Oh, didn't you? No. Uh, and yet, as the court will clearly be able to see on your right hand, there is a very obvious blue ink stain. It would appear that you must have rather carelessly left it somewhere recently. Your favorite fountain pen, that is. Horsey horse dung! <laughs> <laughs> Many memo son, is it not the case that before she died, you met with Giselle Brett in that beach hut? 
Why should we listen to this absurd nonsense? It's nothing but another excuse. Exactly. I'm running out of pencils. <laughs> Show you news will stand behind me all the way. I deny everything. There must be as many people with the initials RM as there are stars in the night sky. Also, don't pay attention to the armband I'm currently literally yeah, thrusting we're, into we're your face We're right definitely, that's now. about to be the next piece of evidence we're going to have to present. I, I guarantee it. The defense has neither the time nor the inclination to count every star in the sky. That's a really good response. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like mm. that a lot. Oh, she's giving you the smirk. Yeah. When she get, when when Ryutaro gives you those eyes, you know you're guilty. When she gives you the smirk, you're about to go to work. You're about to twerk. You're about to get <laughs> you're about to get murked. <laughs> and there's no need anyway, because this pen has more to tell. Yes, there is another clue. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be the emblem. A clue that undeniably proves who its owner really is. In that case, Council, the defense will now show the court where this alleged clue lies. Of course, Your Excellency. The clue on this fountain pen that clearly reveals its owner's identity is... Bada bing! That, that, that he was in Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he used his neutral B, knife, to kill Giselle Brett... <laughs> Uh, oh, we've read, we've read this one, I think. Oh, I have to hit present. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, I forgot about I forgot about presenting evidence in this game. As well as the initials, there is also an emblem on this fountain pen. A fire emblem. Yeah. We need to an engage it. You... <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, Mister Mister At Mister A the Great. He got stabbed by Sephiroth. <laughs> Zach, you don't have to, but I would I would love to see that edit of his face over Sephiroth stabbing Mario with Giselle Brett's face over it. Oh, you don't okay. Have to I do was that, like, wait, but what? That would be funny. Yes, okay. I was like, sorry, Sephiroth stabbed fucking uh, Aerith. Thank you. Oh, uh, right. Zach, spoilers. Uh, spoilers. Okay. Fuck off. Literally. <laughs> spoilers, Zach. If you don't Jeez, know, Zach. if you don't know that Sephiroth killed Aerith. Do you even know that Luke Skywalker is the son of fucking Darth Vader? Like, get out of here. Oh, gee. <laughs> Did you know that Jesus Christ is the son of God? Like, what are you even doing? Do you consume media? Did you know that Jesus Christ has risen? <laughs> he has risen indeed. Damn. I, I, that's just so funny to me to think that if someone's in the middle of reading the Bible and here's a song about he is risen, and they're like, oh, spoilers, I didn't get to that part. I didn't know that he rises again. Oh, man. Wait, Samson loses his hair and then gets weak? What the fuck? <laughs> it's one of the few good stories in the Bible, I think. Don't worry, they keep him in jail so long enough that his hair grows back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. W I did it. I Dougie Wolfington just highlighted the message: footprints, comma only one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for remembering my part. Fuck, Rena Rule says Lazarus dies. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, our chat is full of Bible spoilers. That's I'm so, so sorry, everybody. That's so fucking good. Job yeah, gets eaten by a whale. Did you say Job? It's Jonah. Okay. Isn't it Job? No, no Job is the one who has his whole family killed because God and Satan get into a oh, pissing right. competition yeah, about yeah. who's Job better. Job gets fucked so hard for no good oh, reason. Yeah. It is oh, bullshit. yeah, that story sucks ass. And it's so funny because, like, his whole family dies. And then at the end it's when so God's funny. like, hey, you. Dies. Well, because no, at the very end when God's like, hey, you passed the test. Here's a brand new family. Yeah. That's still traumatic as fuck that yeah. your whole family's dead and God's just like, here's some new children. Nah, you like, get over cool it. Family. It's fine. Get over it. You know it's what? Fine. You know what's you know what's fucking salty as fuck in the Bible? Lot's wife. Yo, don't look back, okay? They told you not <laughs> to. That's on you, okay? You had one job. Don't look back. <sighs> And what does Lot's wife do? She looks back. You know Half what? Half being salt, you dumbass. Salt pillar, boom. <laughs> Half of being salt, you moron. Hey, Lot. 
Don't <laughs> fall asleep around your daughters. Just throwing that one out there. Hey, Lot. Thanks a lot. Got him. Got him. Anyways. No coming back from that. An, an <laughs> emblem that you will, of course, recognize, many memo san. Um. Goodness me. It's the emblem of the show you knew. No, it's not. Nope, nope. It just throws his, like, holds, covers up his arm. In other words, the owner of this pen is an employee of the Shoyu News, whose initials are R.M. Suddenly the stars in the night sky don't seem so numerous, do they? That's really good. Yeah, Susato's got some good one-liners, man. Well, Mini Memo-san, how do you respond? Mm -hmm. No! Also, wouldn't it suck if this case ended with them finding out that Susato's a girl and then throwing the case out because it's Hey, Wes, bad. that would super matter. suck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would I, suck look, a lot. I still want them to find out she's a girl just so Ouchie feels even worse about it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know the only thing that's going to hurt his pride more than losing to a yokel is losing to a woman. Yeah. Yokel? <laughs> order! Order! Explain yourself, witness. Look at the inside of my hat. It's great in here. <laughs> so, this is how the mighty Supreme Court works, is it? Using coercive tactics to have well-meaning citizens reveal harmless secrets. I've used nothing but honest tactics. All right, then. Fine. I won't try to hide it anymore. Yes, not long before that grim tragedy unfolded. Uh, I, a show you news reporter, on behalf of the public, conducted an interview with the Englishwoman. An interview? You... you never mentioned this before! When exactly was this? As I said, it was before that evil little student girl showed her face in the hut. It couldn't have lasted more than two or three minutes, that's all. It was just a brief exchange. But it came to nothing, and as we many memoists say, the people don't pay for their dues. For, the people don't pay their dues for unworthy news. That's nice, I like that. However insignificant you deem it to be, this court cannot overlook the meeting between yourself and the victim. You will testify now under oath about the precise nature of this meeting and what transpired. Got it. Yes, all right. But on one condition. C condition? In all good conscience, I couldn't speak out alone about this. Ugh. You need to call back the uh, earlier yep. witness, so Seki Natsume-san. So we can use some more game mechanics. <laughs> so Seki-san? Oh yes, according to my notes here, that man uh, has a secret of his own. And brace yourselves, because it's not a harmless one. It's big. Wh what? <laughs> Many memoism states that one man's secret is every man every other man's front page story. Very well. I will grant the witnesses a request in this instance. Officer, summon the earlier witness back to the stand. Suseki san hiding something? He's got a bunch more cats now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's back to his old oh, uh, nervous self now. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, also, Mega. Hey, I'm shocked that they jumped right into this and did not give us a whole yeah. slew of dialogue before Honestly, this. Kind of surprised. Myself. I'm kind of about it. Yeah, I'm I love about it. it though. I'm happy. Uh, yeah. Mega Dizzy Superfighter also said, "Love this guy's X Files ass theme. It does have some fucking X Files." Okay, the witness's secrets. 
I asked the Englishwoman for an interview, but she declined, so I left the hut without making a fuss. Then, watching secretly from outside, I saw the woman being stabbed and the other witnesses come running. The detective realized that the victim still had a pulse, so he ran off to fetch help. That's when this writer man here asked the woman a very significant question. But he didn't say anything about that in his testimony, which is why many memoism demands yeah. I reveal it now. Okay, yeah, yeah, look I, see, at his... I see his Twitch, yeah. Yeah, the eh, eh, eh. That's good. You, you mean to say the victim? The victim regained consciousness? Uh, well, um... And when she did, you... You decided to ask her a question? That's, um... True, yes. He did, he did. And that's not all. The woman gave him, gave him a very definite answer. An answer that incriminates the accused. Ooh. This is preposterous. Why am I only hearing about this now? Why didn't you mention this before, you... You yokel hack? It, 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 it wasn't even a conversation! <laughs> yes, I did pose the withering English rose a question. <laughs> uh, I don't deny it. What a wild thing to say about a real human being that died in front of your eyes. I get that he's an uh, author, but still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she could no longer speak. She was barely conscious, even. Counsel for the defense, I expect a thorough cross-examination to be conducted here. This court must and will know the truth. Absolutely, Your Excellency. The reporter is claiming that Miss Brett implicated Ray somehow. What on earth could have happened in that hut? What, what what's getting me is that we're cross-examining writing many memo on him saying that Soseki said something, but we're not cross-examining Soseki on what he said to her, which feels uh -huh. annoying. But uh, whatever, sure. I imagine we have to press him on, and the then he stuff. asked her a question, yeah, yeah. and then he'll yeah. talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, I just go to wherever he says. Yeah, slow yeah. man. He asked her a question. Detective had a pulse. He left, and the writer asked a question. Yeah, that. Okay. Hold it. What question? What exactly did he say? Well, now you should hear this from the horse's mouth. I think. Don't you, Mister Writer Man? Yeah. It, is, it is wild that as a journalist he would call an author Mr. Writer Man. Mr. Writer Man. Get me pictures of Writer Man! <laughs> Wait. He is getting pictures of Writer Man. That's actually J. Gross. Jonah Jameson's son is responsible for Jesus all of Christ. this. with it, you yokel hat! Did he just call Soseki Natsume a fucking yokel hat? Yes, he's hat? officially called... Jesus Christ. Mutaro, Mikotoba, Natsume... He, he's, again, he's just calling everyone yokel. Ouchie, get the hell out of here. What did you say to her? What did you say to the dying Englishwoman? Well, in truth... I said, are you okay? <laughs> and she said, no. <laughs> and I'm talking, you idiot. And then she died. <laughs> I'd been catching crabs at the water's edge and building castles in the sand, you see. And that's... I said, can I give you my crabs? That's... <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's good. And that didn't go... And she did not appreciate that. <laughs> she said, Rare I'm dying, Soseki-san. <laughs> Uh, also, several people in the chat are saying Yokel Watch, which is really funny. Oh, yeah. It's very good, y'all. Very good callback joke. 
That's now she's favorite game. <laughs> Well, the seaside is a place to be at leisure, I suppose. Even for a grown man. But then all of a sudden, from that little beach hut, young girls' panic-stricken cries for help pierced the air. Ray. I ran up to the beach to see what was happening, to find the defendant leaning over the collapsed victim. As soon as Inspector Hosanaga saw Miss Brett on the ground, he sprinted off to get help. And then, just a moment later, I heard a faint moan. A moan from the dead Englishwoman. Well, if she moaned, she wasn't dead yet. I nearly jumped out of my skin! But what did you ask her, Soseki-san? I asked her... Who did this to you? Don't protract this any longer. How did the woman respond? He's a writer. He's trying to build suspense. <laughs> she didn't. She said nothing in response. <laughs> but... When in the stand, you will answer the questions asked of you unambiguously. Now, without evasion or reticence, I demand that you amend your testimony. I will! <laughs> and then, she breasted boobily! <laughs> I asked her, who did this to you? But she never replied. She just lifted a trembling finger and pointed in the direction of the defendant. Okay, well. No, she was pointing at the pen. Maybe? Uh, let's let's ask. Let's let's push both of them. Press both of them. So you tried to find out who the culprit was. He who asks a question is a fool for a minute. He who does not remains a fool forever. Okay, Confucius. I like that. And having been labeled a criminal twice during my time in Great Britain, I was quick to make up my mind. Better to be a fool for a minute than remain a fool in prison forever! Wait, Soseki, so, so, did you think you were going to jail for watching a murder? <laughs> However, you've indicated that the victim failed to respond. Is that correct? I know why. I know why the Englishwoman said nothing. She was ignoring me! <laughs> because of my stupid moustache! Because I'm Japanese! Well, she was quite racist, so you're not wrong. That is true. Oh dear. Soseki-san has really developed a dislike <laughs> for the English, it seems. Having read the report of, on his time in Great Britain, I can't say I'm surprised oh. at his xenophobia. Wow, okay. But the Englishwoman didn't ignore you at all. Did she, Mr. Writer Man? <clears throat> well, yes, all, all right. She, she did respond in a manner of speaking, I suppose. <laughs> she pointed. Sh Miss Brett pointed a finger at the defendant. Do you mean to tell me that Miss Brett fingered the defendant? Soseki-san, is that really true? God damn it. It's not easy to stand here and say this, but... When we first entered the beach hut... The Englishwoman was sprawled on the floor before us, with a student girl standing on the far side of her. Right. And when I asked, who did this to you? <laughs> Whoa. The Englishwoman summoned, summoned her mage's hand <laughs> to point a trembling finger at the back of the hut. Her mage's hand. Ah. So are we supposed to say that, well, the back of the hut is where... What's his um, fuck was? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, because she was sitting on, on the that thing. She got thing, stabbed so... through the back of the hut, is what we're yeah. going to try and prove, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Which was, it can't be denied, in the direction of the student girl who was accused today. No. Soseki-san, why on earth did you neglect to mention this in your original testimony? But fiddlesticks, I say! This I don't care not who British... your favorite League of Legends champion is. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You will not brand me a criminal. He altered into the tent and killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no this one boarded British... the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a British court of law. You will respond in Japanese. What, did he say that in English? Oh, man, yes, of course. Six is probably uh, not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's probably not an easily translatable word for fiddlestick. Yeah, it makes sense. Yes, of course. Uh, the Englishwoman did point her finger towards the back of the hut, but but I was trembling, and she was trembling, and everything was a blur. And thinking about it, I feel as though perhaps she was pointing in a slightly different direction okay then why didn't you say that in the first place then saying yeah he, she pointed go at on. the fucking defendant go with that actually no not what? slightly in a very different direction to where the student girl was standing this is completely different <laughs> to somewhere in the back of the hut where nobody was standing at all you mean that your memory of events and the direction in which the victim was pointing are both unclear? Yes, that's it. Unclear. I'm very, very unclear. The dude's doing hand signs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Writer no jutsu. Writer no jutsu. <laughs> More like his ride or die jutsu. Oh. I'm more of a reader You're excellent. Oh, yeah, Purge. Good, good anime reference. Your Excellency, surely this proves the matter beyond all reasonable doubt. Yes, the woman may barely have been conscious. And yes, perhaps her finger was wave, her finger wavered slightly. But there can be no doubt that this was an attempt by the victim to confirm the identity of her assailant. Why? Because, as the court can see, there was no one other than the accused in the direction the victim was pointing. You dingus. Uh, the, the picture that the, the thing uh, it, shows. It is now uh, abundantly clear that no one besides the accused could possibly have committed this crime. No. You're dumb. Nope, nope you're wrong, you idiot. L plus ratio. Big, inclined to big agree. dumb. Mm-mm. And in the absence of any credible argument to the contrary, I believe we can now conclude this trial. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! No! <laughs> the headline's writing itself. Dashing lawyer's hopes dashed. 92 points across the whole page. We'll do an extra edition. Oh, I just closed the tab. This is a serious blow, Susato. But it's not, if you just... Yeah, but it's... But what if it wasn't? <laughs> Unless we're able to identify the true culprit and substantiate our claim with evidence, the judge will give his ruling and the trial will be over. But... But that's impossible, Father. We don't even know how the crime was committed yet. Mm. Yeah, we do. We're just gotta think about it. <laughs> impossible... Think about it. Impossible though the task may seem. We have no choice. We must think back over everything we've learnt thus far. Somewhere in all those details, I'm confident we'll find the clue we need. The only thing I'm curious about is why he would have killed her. Uh, I mean, he didn't like yeah. her. He said that, but like, is that enough for a motive, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, he I could have done it to get the news because he's a fucking weird. He he literally is Jake Gyllenhaal in fucking Nightcrawler. Maybe. Look, I still think the British government wanted Giselle Brett dead. Mm. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Ray gave us her account of how events unfolded in the defendant's antechamber for, before the trial resumed. She told us what happened at the precise moment Miss Brett was killed.
the, the English woman was sitting at the back of the hut, listening to what I was saying. And then, a moment later, she suddenly got to her feet. The one thing I don't understand is how she got the pen. Before collapsing on the floor in front of me, with a knife in her back. I think she pulled it oh. out. She stood up and pulled it out and then Oh, fell. that's right, because the poison didn't act immediately. Okay. So he's, he got her with it, and then it took some time for it to act. Mm -hmm. How could Miss Brett have been stabbed in the back in a beach hut that was empty but for herself and Ray? Again, it's, it's... Somewhere amid all the information we've gathered so far, there must be an answer to that question. I take it then that the defense has nothing further to add. So, the gallant yokel student's luck finally runs out. I can't say I'm surprised. In that case, I am ready to deliver my final verdict on this matter. This is a crucial turning point now. If I can't establish what really happened, it's over. Where was the real culprit hiding? And how did he or she stab the victim? You don't even have to add a she. Like, we fucking know who it was. Come I on, know. dog. Come on. It was Come Raymond on. Bonnie. Come on. Yep. In the parlor with the candlestick. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Lap. Your Excellency, I respectfully ask you to postpone your adjudication for the time being. Oh? To what end, counsel? The defense would like to present the court with an altern alternative theory. An alternative theory that can be explained. And that's just a theory. An alternative theory. <laughs> who the victim was actually trying to implicate with her dying gesture. It was the stab of 1887. <laughs> was that the stab of 1887? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. An alternative theory? <laughs> None exists. There was someone else present at the scene who could have committed this crime. What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> It was Wario. He committed this crime. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ah. No, that was last case was Wario and Waldy. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. You're they right. aren't here this time. They're in jail with Eggert. I'm a the best. <laughs> I'm a gonna stab. <laughs> <laughs> That's why wah, everyone smells so much. Wah, wah. <laughs> and the victim, Miss Brett, tried to reveal who it was to those around her at the time by mustering all her remaining strength and pointing a trembling finger in her killer's direction. This is fiction, a fantasy. Very well. As you seem so sure of yourself, Counsel, I am prepared to hear your alternative theory. So, young Ryotaro Narahodo. Yes, Your Excellency. You will present your latest theory to the court by means of this plan. At the moment the victim was stabbed, where exactly are you proposing the culprit was concealed? Right behind, outside, you idiot. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, based on the angle, was it... So he, he was stabbed it, her through the here, the screen, and then based he... Based on the angle? I think he took the picture here, though. Yeah, he ran yeah, away. I mean, I, mean, I would say like, in between those points, but yeah, something like that. Uh... Because here is, yeah, the angle of the picture, but there's no chair here. So, oh, look at that. Okay, yeah. Clear okay, hole. Okay, yeah. No, never mind. Come never mind. on. Never mind. what it is. Uh, okay, so back. Got stabbed there. Uh, for that. Narahodo-san would never give up. And I'm a Narahodo now. The true culprit who fatally stabbed Miss Brett was concealed in this location here. Are you mad, counsel? You mad, bro? <laughs> You're suggesting the culprit was outside the hut? Cool story, bro. <laughs> what? 
Order! 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 But student lawyer Narahuro-san Esquire, that makes no sense at all! You've... You've just pointed out the exact spot where I was hiding to get my scoop snap! Oops. I my scoop snap. My scoopy snack. My scoopy snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Many <sighs> more. But I didn't see any suspicious individuals loitering about. I can swear to that. You fucking idiot. You fucking rube. Obviously, if the culprit had been outside the hut, there is no way that he or she could have stabbed the victim who was inside the hut. No. Actually, Prosecutor Ouchie, there is a way. Ah. And, in point of fact, the defense can provide evidence strongly suggesting that that is... The defense can provide evidence strongly suggesting that is precisely the way Miss Brett was killed. You're bluffing! You're, you're bluffing, you yokel! The defense's assertion is clearly too fantastical for the court to comprehend. Okay. What's so let's just throw it out. <laughs> you will need to give us more guidance, counsel. Be our guidance counselor. <laughs> what piece of evidence corroborates your theory that the victim was stabbed from outside the hut? Uh, is it this picture then? The picture, yeah, it's the picture. That shows the little hole there? I guess so, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. I hope it is. I'd feel silly if it wasn't. Okay. The the original photographic print of the crime scene? Yes, it's clearly visible in this print. The trace of the fatal thrust that was delivered from outside the beach hut. Do you take us for fools? There's yes. no hint of any such thing. <laughs> I'm not sure that everyone present would agree. Someone, at least appears to have noticed what it is that I'm referring to. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> the chat the chat's going. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm shitting myself. I'm shitting and farting right now. <laughs> Council, once again I must call on you to be explicit for the court. Oh, you want me to be explicit? <laughs> Fuck. Well, <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> your honor. <laughs> Where on this photograph is the trace of the stabbing, which you claim took place from outside oh, okay. the hut? That's easy. Take that. Look closely, just here. <laughs> that, that like half second of zoom switching to another cut was a choice. It was a choice. Yeah. yeah. In the screen of the back of the hut, you can see the effects of a blade having been forced through the reeds. No, I can't. I can't see any such thing. It's true that the hut in question had four walls, as, you would, as you'd expect. However, by parting the reeds, a knife blade could easily penetrate them. This is extraordinary. Yes, I am pretty great, aren't I? <laughs> the true culprit actually stabbed the victim from outside the beach hut. Oh. And of everyone present at the scene, there is only one person who could have done that. Only one person who was directly outside the hut when Miss Brett was killed. Write in many memo, son. It could only have been you. Uh, uh, no! This preposterous idea leaves me almost speechless. Just look at the... Just look at the photograph again. <laughs> the victim lies almost exactly in the center of the beach hut, does she not? What are you even trying to say, Ouchie? Yeah. Are we to assume, as part of you this fucking farcical idiot. scenario, that the assailant was a knife thrower? Have you been paying attention? Objection. She got stabbed, got up and stumbled forward, you moron. No. Well, maybe of he was a knife thrower. I don't know. Why are we discounting that as a possibility? <laughs> We're not. <laughs> I guess the next question they're gonna. So the last testimony is gonna be, how did she get poisoned? 
if she was stabbed right. through the back. Right, right. And that I actually don't know the answer to as of yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we're st- I think we as the audience are still missing something. Uh, the crucial that. piece of evidence. If you recall the testimony of the defendant about the events just before the victim's death. Inside the beach hut, I confronted Miss Brett. But she just sat on a stool in the back of the hut, smiling sweetly at me as if she knew she was untouchable. A a stool? Which you can find in your pants now. Ha ha! (laughs) <laughs> that was good. I like that. shit and fart. Yep. Have another. Look at the photograph. Wow, they really did it this time. Okay, there we go. The slit in the reed screen. God damn it. They did it again. <laughs> Would align perfectly with the back of a person who was sitting on that stool. Just do a crossfade between the two images. It's fine. My word. So, in fact, the victim was killed whilst sitting on that stool by a stab wound to her back delivered through the reed screen. (laughs) Having been attacked, Miss Brett rose to her feet instinctively. But then, unable to speak, she collapsed on the floor in the middle of the hut. Before the defendant, Membami-san's appalled eyes... And that, Your Excellency, is the truth of what happened on the beach that day. (laughs) Dang, my hat smells good. (laughs) I love my conditioner. (laughs) Mmm, I love this shampoo combo. Shampoo conditioner combo. (laughs) Yummy, yummy, yummy. (laughs) By your silence, Mini Memo-san. I take it that you don't deny the charge. This... This is... Absurd! That will do, pig. (laughs) I was going to say donkey, but... (laughs) Also good. It would appear that we have a tacit admission of guilt from the witness. Accordingly, this court has successfully established the truth of this matter, which means that the defendant, Membami-san, is innocent of this crime. Oh, thank goodness. I finally made him cave. Nah. I must say, I've never been more proud. Men will literally commit a murder before going to therapy. <laughs> No, this can't be. The Aoshi clan can't. What of my growth? My growth of hope! <laughs> no one wants to hear about your growth. It, it wasn't all an apparition. I can't accept this. I won't! I see no reason for the continuance of this trial. I will therefore move to conclude proceedings by... Hold it! <laughs> We're like, horror! Yeah, horror! <laughs> well, this is very convenient. This is how the highest court in our mighty empire delivers justice, is it? Suppressing well meaning citizens' freedom to speak and branding them as criminals. Yep, that's how I do it. You figured it out. But. We've established that the victim was stabbed from outside the hut, through the reed screen walls. Literally 1984. Thank you. Thank you, Mega Dizzy Superfighter, for that. (laughs) And no one but you was in place at the time to have his hand on the hilt of the blade. It's a perfectly logical deduction. So... Did somebody say deduction? You're not here. So, your argument hinges on the location of whoever stabbed the Englishwoman, does it? Well, it seems a little irrelevant now. Irrelevant? 
Where she was stabbed, how she was stabbed, it doesn't matter. I mean, whether she was stabbed at all makes no difference, if you think about it. After all... Remember, nihilis no nihilism is the main yeah. tenet of many memoism. It doesn't matter. Nothing fucking matters. <laughs> After all... This trial's Ooh. already shown the whole thing hinges on something else. <laughs> Seems like he's like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> What? What are you talking about? Uh, brace yourself, little man. I'm talking about the fact that everything's changed. Sophie, that one's for you. Because of the dirt you dug up. What? Enough obscurity. Explain yourself, witness. What's to explain? I'm talking about the poison, of course. Membami's poison. The poison from Membami. The poison made by... Oh, wait, I fucked it up. <laughs> you know what I mean. Miss Brett's poison. The poison yes. from Miss Brett. The poison is specially made to kill Miss Brett. Miss Brett's poison. Thank you very much, Wes. That poison? That. Yes, that, that poison. Yes, that poison. The poison? Let's ask the professor for a comment on the situation, shall we? I understand that a deadly poison you were developing was stolen from your laboratory, correct? And it's been shown that the poison was administered to the victim, Miss Brett. Is that right? That is correct. The unusual constriction of the victim's pupils are a sure sign that this particular poison was used. I see, I see. So, presumably, that means... That the victim already had the poison in her body before she was stabbed. Not necessarily. We don't know that. Uh, and you definitely can't prove that. Given that her pupils were clearly Dad? constricted, it seems highly likely, yes. Dad, shut the fuck up. Dad, you're ruining this for me. <laughs> if she had been dead already, the poison could not have circulated in her blood. Well, she was poisoned before she was, before she died, but you can get stabbed and then, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> ah, how refreshing to hear the argument of a metropolitan mind. I hate your ass, don't you? <laughs> Precisely. It matters not a jot who stabbed whom, in whose back, and with whose blade. But it... But it does. But it does. I mean, yeah. you can't, you can't, you can't poison, somebody else can't poison somebody and then you stab them and then be like, well, they died from the poisoning, so I'm okay. I didn't kill them. <laughs> I just stabbed them before they died. Uh -huh. <laughs> because, quite simply, the English woman's life was taken not by the knife, but by the poison. Objection. That's like if somebody was dying of cancer and being like, well, I'm going to die in the next day or so, so as long as you don't entirely kill me, but I still die, it's okay. What a <laughs> wild take. Uh-huh. Also, Ryotaro, come on, you know the answer to this. Yeah. But that can be explained by the poison being on the blade, as I already... <laughs> Forgotten already, have we, yokel? During these very proceedings, the laboratory of the professor at your side assisted in proving that the blade of the weapon used to attack the victim had no trace of poison on it whatsoever. So let me get this down. The facts, as skillfully established by the defense in this trial, turn out to be a headline-making herring. Is that about right? Uh, um, well... Ah! Red herring? Yeah, pup named Scooby-Doo reference. Holy shit. Fucking banger shit. show. Such a good show. It was. It... Scooby-Doo. Okay, the track Scooby also Doobie, fucking slapped. Order. 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 Uh, but where does this leave us? How, in that case, did the poison enter the victim? body 
There is an undeniably obvious answer to that. The lady most likely imbibed it. Don't do this shit. She was she was cousin. a she was an ink drinker. <laughs> you, you mean she drank it? Have another look at have another look at the photograph here. As you can see. I feel like we haven't had the game actually say look at this photograph in so long. And in this case they've said it like three billion times. So many times. Yeah, she a did bottle drink. of carbonated a bottle of carbonated water <laughs> and a glass had been knocked onto the sandy floor of the beach hut. This this purple stained carbonated water. Yeah. The poison could have been slipped into either. So somebody made Miss Brett drink it. Well, what do you know? Look at those dashing eyes. This will make a great front page shot. Hey, why the bewitching stare? After all, I'm the last person you should be looking at. It would make no sense at all that I poisoned the woman, would it? I mean, that's been established already. Established? What are you talking about? Hmm? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Uh, that's a little hard to believe, given that the person who established it was you. Me? What on earth does he mean? Ooh, let me capture those wide eyes. This is prime press fodder, this is. It would seem that this trial is not destined to end yet, after all. I hereby call upon the witness to give further testimony. That's great it is! Let me get a shot of that magnificent, magnificent beard, Your Excellency. You claim it to be impossible that you are the one responsible for administering the poison to the victim. You will explain to the court in your testimony the basis upon which you make such a claim. I'm a journo and I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm a terrible human being. I've <laughs> never tried to run or hide from anything in my life. And I'm not about to start now because that's, and I know this is going to shock you, many memoism. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> For a brief right moment, there. I thought I'd illuminated the truth. But it slipped right back into obscurity again. Just where is this trial going to take us? Susato, oh, I have no fucking clue. All right. But that's Perfect. a great stopping point, huh, folks? We made it. Woo! Where's it going to take us? Find out next time. On Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> folks, that is going to do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Uh, I hope you enjoy this very much. I hope you're excited for the end of this trial and the start of 2-2, which should be next week. Uh, if you like this and you want to catch it live, watch us live on twitch.tv slash save did a team, excuse me, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. And if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save did a team. Throw us a couple bucks. We really appreciate that as well. It helps us uh, do what we do. But until next time, stick around for art because court is adjourned. Tyler with Mr. Turtle loves four second videos. Mr. Turtle fucking loves Vine. <laughs> incredible, incredible. Tyler. Down scope. <laughs> Pinky slash Alex. Hi, hi, I'm super busy with several exams. So here's like all I got for now. Uh, is turning jail comic because you can't tell me that the culprits haven't met each other and are now friends or something. This is absolutely my head cannon. Uh, all oh, the yeah. guilty people in jail. Uh, hello, dudes. Welcome to LA's jails, LA Jail's most controversial hot takes, hosted by moi, Matt on guard. <laughs> Today's topic is video games, and oh. our participants are Richard Wellington and Luke Atme. Oh, Luke, system. what do you have for us, dude? Well, you see, Matt, the pursuit of photorealism in video games is a fruitless endeavor, which ultimately, re ultimately results in bloated file sizes that take too much space in the console and only ga gaze in the uncanny valley. All right. Holy shit, Luke is spitting facts right now. <laughs> Richard, Doom Guy is a bottom. Fuck, he's also spitting facts. <laughs> May I change my answer, Matt? <laughs> This is 
is so funny. Holy <laughs> fuck. Thank that's you, really Slash good. Alex. That's so good. Thanks, my outside. James made a London DLC outfit for Ray. Yo. Yeah. Uh, that's so good. I like the very little cool. the little plush of her yeah. Japanese outfit on her oh. hip. This is really cute, That's James. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, man. I love that. We've got more of the girlfriends. Holy yeah. shit. Damn. Yeah, yeah, Susato is really dashing in this picture. God damn. Ryotaro is the new best character. Woo! In Ace Attorney. <sighs> Confirmed. Dogan. An older Iris design. Yo. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, yeah. I dig it. I really dig it. That's awesome, James. Heck yeah. Time skip Iris. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dorky, let Iris act 10 for once. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Bruno, birds. Why is an office full of so many... I think they're cute. <laughs> I thought they were going to poop every... <laughs> I thought they were prone to poop everywhere. Do you think that's the reason Lord Strongheart's hair is so white? <laughs> <laughs> I think I made that joke. The absolute disgust Hell on his yeah. face. <laughs> Yen with Ryotaro learn uh, Ryotaro leans in to toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> but uh isn't it true, Your Honor, that uh bitches be crazy? So bigot. Very gallant, much dashing, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Her being the fucking Corgi is really good. And yeah, this yeah. is so good. Super cute. <laughs> Her bridal carrying uh Ray in a cheerleader outfit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, little End Dragon. Here's a co here's a Cosmo gender Ben. I wanted to draw this after looking up the name and the first result telling me it was feminine. After looking more into it, though, it seemed to depend on which kanji you use. Glad I looked it up before making stupid claims. Still very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, this yeah, is dope. It's gorgeous. Yeah. The the detail on the sleeve is really pretty. Oh my god. Yeah. And the 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 way that you made Cosmo's like very specific like juts of hair work for like longer length hair is is really good yeah heck yeah very good i like that a lot nyam with uh Sus <coughs> i mean ryutaro in the epic new outfit yeah this is really good yeah man now now Ugh. nyam was this also written on the back of some schoolwork because it looks like it, it looks like it was been. listen i'm gonna call out some stuff <laughs> written in in a zelda notebook why do you say that on the back uh, I mean, oh, I see it now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this was written in a Zelda notebook on the back of homework. Uh -huh. <laughs> you've you've been you've been outed. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Noradora and I was drawing. I did a few uh, a week ago. Yo, oh, it's cutie. really cute. I don't know why it makes me think of this, but she looks she looks like. Uh, like a Candyland character. In yeah, this, I, I, which I is see really what you're saying. Cute. No, the, the details and the ruffles and everything are really cute. Heck yeah, Norador. Yeah. Trying my best uh, with, you'll never guess who my favorite DGS character. Here's my silly little goofy guy. Uh, he, Riotara. He is all those things. You love Riotara, right? I mean, I thought that was everybody's favorite character. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Very good. Heck yeah. And also, you're new, so welcome. Thank you for posting art. Hell yeah. Welcome. Salsa with, oh, thank fuck, I finished this in time. Uh, Ron and <laughs> Rolly admiring their wives. <laughs> it's really good. It's so good. They do have that in common. <laughs> God, my strong and loving wife is hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ain't really that fucking the truth. good. Rose. Hey, Rose. Welcome back. It's an old request from a buddy of mine. Also, hey! it's been a while. We'll probably pop in and out of Wednesdays because I'm not really an ace attorney right now. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy uh, Gak too. Yeah, totally That's cool. That's all right. Yeah. Come in when you feel like it. <laughs> He's cooking. Stop. Let him cook. Yeah. He's cooking. <laughs> yeah, he's not cooking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Never let bro cook again, bro. <laughs> good meme. Incredible. Good meme. Thank you, Rose. Good to, good to see you, Rose. <laughs> Saxy, what's in Judge G. Koku's uh, craft part four? B and E in the name of justice. Great detective, great heart. Great detective is nothing without his pipe and his caramel bar. 
For some reason, Shilms makes me think of Snickerdoodles. So this cotton, this cocktail is blended with teacher's whiskey and fireball accented with smoked Ooh. simple syrup, amaretto, and walnut bitters. I also added caramel syrup to reference the caramel bar, making the whole thing taste like baked goods for adults. I also garnished the drink nice. with a square of caramel-filled chocolate balanced on the edge of the glass. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't normally like whiskey drinks, but I feel like this would have enough sweetness to counterbalance it. No, so I feel like that yeah. would be really good. I would, I would absolutely mess with it. Like this. sweet, spicy, a little bitter and mm -hmm. nutty. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I would mess with this. Thank you, Saxon. Yeah. Uh, and then I tried to animate something. Yo! Whoa! This is That's dope. so good. Oh, wow. The butterfly, yeah. the glint on the knife, the blinking. Oh, and the the eye Pearl. is moving too. Yeah. yeah Pearl on the bottom, the quest. Wow, there's a lot of small details. <laughs> Mystic really Mai's yeah. special someone gossip. Who will be the new master? Morgan Fay has something to say. This season, get away with murder. Eeny me, eeny miny secret. The seven ways to kill your boss. <laughs> Damn. This yeah, is this so does good. look like a straight up like Vogue cover. Or yeah, something. yeah, this is awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah, thank you, Cheryl. Yes. Uh, Toads and Moss uh, return with some art, uh, canon art, and some AU art. Canon stuff. Lots of artists on Tumblr and Twitter have declared it to be Feeny February, so I decided to celebrate by redrawing my old profile pic. This is so good. This like old Feeny looking down with so much love in his eyes. Uh, yeah. Again, so cute. Absolutely adorable. Very good. I love this. And, and turn about ashes since Miles and Phoenix aren't involved in the law just yet. They are instead Gregory <laughs> Edgeworth's assistants. That's cool. Uh, of course, they're still just high schoolers. So they can only help out so much. There's got to be some way we can help with the investigation. How about we start with not messing up my hair, please? <laughs> I love that. That's really cute. Uh, Val, <laughs> if he's snapping those suspenders on his nip knops all day. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a billion percent Ow. what his skin looks like under the Owie. shirt. Let's be clear. Owie. If y'all have never had someone snap your suspenders, it, oh, it fucking hurt. hurts. So yeah, uh, wild choice by this man. <laughs> Get that man some ointment. Yeah, thank you, Val. Corona Wizard had to draw one of these bits I last listened in on last yeah. stream. Thank you very much. In this case, the emblem pen was mightier than the Cosmo Sword, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I've been invited to join Smash. W what? But I thought I was going to be in Smash. <laughs> nah, sorry. It's yeah. not happening. Listen, Susato would be a great grappler. She has the takedown. You know, it's, it's great. That's true. Uh, Mocha, a disturbance in the 221B. Meanwhile, at 221B. Achoo. You have a cold, you know? No, it just feels like someone is trying to uphold the pride of my clan. Thank, thank you. <laughs> very, <laughs> yep, very good. Very good. <laughs> thank you, Mocha. Uh, and Beb with no time to shade. <laughs> this fucking... <laughs> because of being like, you fucking dummy. <laughs> <laughs> What was the dumb thing that we did? You th why did you say it was tree branches? <laughs> yeah. Very good, Beb. 